perceived as the go-to place for job readiness for youth in the community and um, in the larger community. I'd like to be perceived as experts on what we do. The Youth Job Center is absolutely essential because the Youth Job Center does what teenagers want, which is find, helps them to find jobs. John Wooden uh, said that said often that one of the keys to uh, success, one of the foundations of success, is doing common things uncommonly well. And I think YJC gets that. There are skills that a high school education doesn't necessarily provide, that the Youth Job Center does. Practice interviewing, for example, how to write a resume, understanding what workplace expectations are. These are not a regular part of our academic curriculum, and I'm so grateful that the Youth Job Center provides that to our students. One of the amazing things that we're experiencing during this difficult economic downturn and very tough unemployment situation is that there are job opportunities out there that are going unfilled. We need to help line up people who need jobs badly with employers who are trying to hire people. And the Youth Job Center does exactly that. From my first encounter with YJC, I kind of felt like, you know, this is going to be a good fit. I really liked the fact that the staff comes out, finds out what our needs are, and, you know, really tries to make sure that they find someone that matches our needs. One of our biggest challenges as an employer is to is the cost of turnover and the challenge of bringing in entry, especially in the entry level positions, bringing in people who are going to be qualified, who are going to stay, and who are actually employee worthy. And the YJC really helps us tremendously with that because they're already pre-screened, they've got the support up front, they've got the support in the back end after we bring them in, and so that's been tremendously helpful for us because of the screening process and the way that the candidates are selected. Um, it really minimizes that expense for us. With one phone call to the Youth Job Center, you guys took over, you brought a candidate in for me to uh, interview, that person worked out very well, and in subsequent years we've had additional candidates come, and so again you made it easy for uh, the school system to be supported in the project that we were trying to accomplish, and so we're helping a student who wants a career in uh, a professional field, uh, the summer program gets help, so it's an all around benefit, so I, I'm just extremely thrilled to have the opportunity to work with all the different members of the Youth Job Center. If you have an open job position, um, you're going to have to interview and source candidates anyway. It saves you a lot of time. Um, they really put a lot of effort into making sure that uh, their candidates are pre-screened, they've attended some type of job readiness training, and that they're ready for the interview. So I would say there's, again, no downside to partnering with the YJC and it only makes you really, really smart business. The candidates from the YJC are, are different for us because they are, we, we give them priority over anybody else um, because of our desire to, to work with people in our community and make, create opportunities for people in our community. We would give them the first dibs on any, on any job. Thankfully, we were actually able to hire someone on um, a couple years ago, she started with us through the YJC internship program, and we still have her here, and she is a great employee, and we've been able to see um, how she's grown over the last couple years, so we're definitely appreciative of that. And it's really nice that YJC still checks in with us in regards to the students, so wanting to know her progress, wanting to know if there are things that we can um, get, what other supports that we can get from YJC. We have professional staff full-time YMCA professionals who began at the McGaugh YMCA as a youth job center youth. Um, it's a great story to tell. It's not the growth for me, but it's the growth for my son. Uh, he's uh, seven months now, and 
Honestly, when he was born, it was like a life changer where I said that I kind of have to do a lot um, to make his goals like a better life for him. I'm the eldest of eight children. Uh, both my parents are from Romania. I'm the first born here. My name is Matthew. I'm a freshman at ETHS and I'm 15 years old. My name is Sadia Adrian and I've been with the YJC for about six, seven years. Um, and I came through and through my high school at Evanston Township. My name is Kita Menek Benek. I'm 20, 22. I just had a birthday. I'm 22 years old. I came to YJC through a friend of mine who suggested that I come here in order to find work and get help in going back to school. I'm majoring in broadcast journalism, so in the future I plan to pursue that as a career. My dad lost his job in 2000. And since then, I was, my, we live with various family members, but I was, that was why I had to start working at 13. Um, and I would always help out with the bills, being homeless off and on for the, you know, from the age of 13 to 17 kind of, you know, was a challenge. I think the Youth Job Center just honestly gives you the confidence and the, the exposure you need to go out there and apply and interview and get the job and even the strong habits of keeping it up, not just doing it from the beginning, but throughout the whole force, like uh, working and having strong work that makes it. Just the things that you learn here are very positive. They like to like, help me like, like interview more people. And this like, get over like, my fear of like talking a lot. I actually love the interview now. It's so easy. It goes by it's like a breeze now. I love it. I love the interview. My favorite part of summer tours was seeing the kids' face and making them smile every day because I know a lot of kids like to go to summer school. I love working with children. If it wasn't for the job two years ago, I don't know if I'd want to work with kids, but I do now. And especially this year, I worked as the lead tutor and I went around to all the classrooms and got to see all kids from K through four. And it made me realize that I want to work with kids much more. So um, it was one of it was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. Will has already helped me advance in my career. They've given me opportunities. They said, "Hey, here's somebody who knows what to do for the type of field you want to go into." The Will mentor they set me up with was Colleen Burris. Um, so she's already been in academia and you know the academic support staff field for a number of years. And since I wanted to get into an academic support staff, they said, "Hey." She would be grateful, and I met her. We meet once or twice a month. When I came to U Jobs, and I said I really don't want a job where I'm sitting around. I, I said I want a job where I'm moving, and Jessica kind of helped me with that, and that's where I got this job. The thing I like about my job is that there's a lot of growth. There's so many times that I moved up in the company to get where I'm at right now, which I'm about to cross over to being a supervisor. The YJC has helped me tremendously. They, during the SCA program, I learned time management uh, skills and other job related skills that have helped me day in and day out during my customer service. And also just the staff, everyone's so lovely and very supportive and they just make you feel like you're included and they're proud of what you're doing. The oh, YJC has been very helpful to me and that, I mean, it's a great source that Evanston has offered. Um, I love that. I love that I can come here and get any help that I need. The doors are always open and I've been with them so long and I've done so many different cool things with them and I'm just excited to see what else they have to offer. My biggest hope for the future would be maybe to just get a job that I really love and then just stick to it and then just keep making it a better job for myself. Right now, my plans are to just continue with school so I can prereqs to enter a nursing program um, so that I can continue my education and my career in nursing. My career advisor, Lindsay, she's helped me so far as finding schools, um, looking at nursing programs, um, helping me get the job that I do have now. Far future, I, I want to be a firefighter um, and, you know, help out the community. But, uh, Right now, in the near future, I'm just trying to get a temporary job, go to college, and hopefully work my way up from there. I have nowhere to go but up. I mean, I have so many opportunities, and and you have jobs, and has really helped with that a lot. And there, it's nice to have a safety net. That's something that I've never had before, and I really like.